Well, it's time now for Truth or Fake, our dose of daily fact-checking. I'm joined now on set by France 24's Verica Bahel. Verica, it's good to see you. Well, today you've been looking into viral images of a Ukrainian soldier who's wearing some very surprising insignia on his uniform. What are the claims? Yes, Fraser, we're starting with these accusations after these photos circulated, showing a Ukrainian soldier with a patch on his arm that users say show his affiliation to the Islamic State. Now, these photos are screenshots from a Danish television report where, where the soldier was actually visible just in the background there, and that's what users have picked up on. Now, the patch itself shows a black background with a white sphere and a text on it that users claim is the seal of Muhammad that has been used since 2007 by the Islamic State. Now, these images themselves were also shared by the uh, Russian embassy in Denmark with some pretty strong words there saying that they think this is a clear example of what values the Ukrainian military adhere to. So again, accusing Ukraine of terrorism uh, affiliation there. Now, the photo and caption were also picked up by international media, uh, including India's Hindustan Times and Iran's Dasneem News. And they really presented these images as evidence of links between the Islamic State and the Ukrainian military. So, Fedeka, what else did you manage to find out about this soldier? Well, from a reverse image search, Fraser, I found that those images are actually not from a Danish... Uh, well, the Danish television report used them uh, from a report that was created by a news agency, the Associated Press, and that's where they took those images from. It was filmed February 13th in the Donbass region on the front line, and it was the Danish channel DR Neuider who took those images from there. So I can confirm that these images are not manipulated or doctored, and they are, in fact, real images. Now, according to the description that was attached to this uh, Associated Press report, the, the soldier himself was named, identified only as Kurt, uh, and there was no mention by them uh, of the badge that, that he was wearing on his left arm or any terrorist affiliation there. Now, we know very little else uh, about this soldier apart from his name, which also may be a pseudonym, but it's not the first time that he has appeared uh, in online footage or videos or, or articles uh, at all, including uh, this Twitter video in which he appears uh, with his squad mates. This is from February 10th. And again, at 52 seconds there, this is a screenshot from there, we can see uh, um, a the same black badge with the white text on his left arm there, uh, what people say is the Islamic State badge. He was also interviewed last November by German media Deutsche Welle, uh, and this was a four and a half minute report in which he featured. And whilst he is wearing a different and rather thick, heavy looking jacket, uh, there is no patch or badge uh, to visible on either arm. Now, he also made headlines in Ukraine last November also, when he shot down a Russian uh, Shahed-136 drone. And again, his left arm is visible there, the same way we had previously seen that patch, but it is not visible in this article from last year. So a lot of uh, online presence there, but whilst we've established that these images are real, is it true or fake that the soldier has anything to do with the Islamic State group? Well, I spoke to Wasim Nasser, who is France 24's resident terrorism expert for his analysis. And he said that the seal of the prophet, which is visible on the patch, is used by several different jihadist groups, whether it's Al-Qaeda, the Islamic State, or even rebel groups in Syria who use it. So therefore, it's not at all proof of belonging to any uh, Islamic State group. Now, after this story went viral, Ukraine's Center for Strategic Communication and Information Security interviewed the soldier uh, identified as Kurt with his face uncovered. Now, this center also guys, goes by the name of Spravdi, uh, and Spravdi in interviewed uh, Kurt, and he told them in his own words that he found the badge. He claims that he, fa uh, that he stumbled upon uh, this patch uh, on the body of a soldier belonging to the Russian mercenary Wagner Group. Uh, and he claims that he's a Christian, not a Muslim, and this, this is simply, so, simply something that he came across in the front line. Now, whilst that is uh, a Ukrainian communications group that he spoke to, he also gave an interview to Polygraph. Now, Polygraph is the fact-checking arm um, of the uh, Voice of America media outlet, and this was a much more extens extended, extensive interview. And to them, he explained that these military patches are trophies that he collects from his time on the front line. He says that he has a host of many others uh, that he collects and wears that he's found, and so do many of his colleagues. 
Overall, this is, Fraser, all the information that we do have on this story, uh, and that is all that we really know for now. Whilst the soldier identified as Kurt has claimed, uh, has denied these claims, and he's said that these badges are merely war treasures, um, this is plausible considering that the last, uh, the, 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 the latest known footage that we have of him uh, wearing this badge on his arm is from February 10th, and we can't find it in any older images or instances of him online. So it is a plausible uh, reason that, he, that he's given. Um, it's also not the first time that soldiers have been known to do this, uh, and there's no ev evidence that this soldier fought on any other battlefield since 2014 or has any uh, connection with any jihadist groups. I did reach out to the Ukrainian uh, military spokesperson and to the Stravzy agency uh, as well to no response. But overall, this is the information that we have for now on this story. Vedika, another deep dive. Thank you so much for that. Vedika held out with truth or fake.